Hello everybody, it's Annie Wee, Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd hop on really quickly and just do a video uh, share of my Autumn 2023 day book, uh, which this year is just going to be October, November, because I did actually add September to the end of my summer, summer day book. But um, just before that, I thought I'd just do a, a quick share of just a few of my favourite pages from um, the yearbooks from the day books from last year. So um, I don't know if you remember through um, lockdown and right after lockdown, to be honest, I did. Uh, I worked. I put everything in a bullet journal. I put everything in a bullet journal. So I didn't really have a day book per se and decided this time last year that I wanted to go back to having a day book as life started to get back, you know, to normality and just busy being out and about and stuff. So, um, yes, so I started in November with this um, bought um, and altered um, leather bound journal from Amazon, which I loved. So I covered it in vintage um, Sanderson uh, paper, uh, paper fabric, and then, uh, basically added embellishments to pages as I went along, which I really enjoyed doing. So this was from Katie Daisy. This was from the Ladybird book. I loved it. I loved, loved, loved the November, the beginning uh, of my uh, day book adventures again. And I thought I'd share just a couple of my favourite pages from that one. I used, um, I think, what to look for in winter. Uh, what to look for in the autumn and what to look for in the winter, I think was the um uh oh what's the word yeah some of the pages that i use so this is beautiful this was december so in, De in december to february i think i loved it and i actually took the text took the text out as well uh, describing the the uh, the images from the book absolutely enjoy it. i so love doing this so loved working in that so that was december end of december coming to january and then this was one of my favourite pages as well. Um, and this was some napkin that I really enjoyed using. Um, yeah, I enjoyed using those immensely, to be fair. And I think, actually, I'll see if I can find... There was another one. And um, February. February. So it was the last month. And that, again, was from What to Look For in Winter. I absolutely loved it absolutely loved it so that was um some of my favorite pages from my um autumn winter last year and then we went into spring and i did i thought i'd order the same journal but it's it was slightly different one slightly smaller so i did the same again and just covered so i got the leather bound the leather bound um journal and adapted it again this was some chintz fabric that I had in my stash. These are some beautiful pieces that I've had in my stash for a while. And so with that one, started out, that was in March. Started out in March for that one. It was absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. And then I think I was going to share because there's, here's yeah, that my... May, yeah, so that was February to May um, on that one, yeah, and uh, there's quite a lot of sort of personal journaling, so I won't do lots of that, but anyway, and then this one, this one, as you know, I've been working in since June, June, July, August, September, and um, she's done now, it's taken me a little while to really uh, really catch up because august september was such, such a busy month i didn't have a chance to journal every day so i've just finished adding all my, my notes to that and song lyrics and stuff from different months and everything else so anyway so then last month i don't know if you remember if you watched my september um flip through i picked up this book We've just been for um tea and cake to our local museum a little uh, local museum and um, with a friend of ours and they had some books for sale and I picked up this little beauty if you remember I picked that up and I and I earmarked it for um, my autumn journal just two signatures absolutely love it I just loved absolutely loved the um, the front image 
and I didn't actually cover the spine because I really like the way the image goes, you know, sort of dripped onto the spine. I really liked that and I didn't want to lose it by covering the um by covering the spine. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. It's just for me. It's just for me. And this was uh, one of the pages that I took out from this one. Um, it was like a little, oh, a little old book about crafts. Um, and it was, I think, 25p um, on the page. But I just love this image because it has all the beautiful colours. And I think inside the book it talked about using sort of plants and vegetables and things to dye your own walls. And I just love, can you see Elderberry, 1973? I just absolutely loved it. So I said I'd do it, and I have. I put it on the back. Put it on the back. This is from, now let me see if I got it here. I did indulge, because I've been doing, been trying to be as sustainable as possible, haven't I, the last uh, few months. But I indulged in this Stamperia. It's called uh, Just Forest. Little, um scrapbook pad and, and I've got just one more page I think I've popped somewhere to put in my winter journal but otherwise I've used it all um, and it's gorgeous it's gorgeous the only thing I would say and I'm sure you guys know if you've used Damperia the only criticism I have of these beautiful designs is that they're, they're double faced it's really hard sometimes to choose a face um, unless you're using them for pages if you're going to glue them down to choose which side to glue down that's that's really difficult it's really difficult so um this was um this was from so yeah i covered both signatures both signature covers are from the paper pad and this little um like a, a label thing uh, was in there and i just played about with that bit there this was in um one little journaling sort of prompts in there and that was from the pads as well and I just thought I really like that I really like that little reminder so I popped that on there and I've used the leaves again I know it's a bit kitsch and a bit sort of cliche but I love it and I, I when I bought this big bag of these was it from Amazon or the works years ago I had loads and so you know what I I love it I love the falling leaves and I thought I'm gonna use them again going to use them again to kind of um, just trim the edge of the, uh, the book. Okay, so this was a, a page from uh, from this one, from back in 2020, I think. Yeah, this was a page from 2020 that I decided to use again and just basically glued it in as my um, end paper. And I had um, from that black skirt black leather skirt i've used loads of it i picked up on the pound rail ages ago i just did the spine the inside and i was going to do the outside as well but i decided not to so this is from the paper pad and that's from the paper pad just went over it with some stickers and some of my vintage stamps um postage stamps um the inside is it beautiful i just and you know what i loved i loved the muted colours. I love the muted colours of the of the uh, the cover, and these were exactly the same. They kind of reflect the muted colours. I, I I just oh, and the images of the fox and the squirrel, you know, it, that's just amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. I just oh, anyway, little bird. Very very pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. Anyway, so what's nice is I used um I used the craft paper paper pad that I picked up in Home Bargains for $2.99 ages ago like it's like a scrapbook and I so I've used all of those pages for my um pages because I just I love working with this if I'm not coffee dyeing my own um and it's a really good time saver to be honest if you haven't got time to you know be coffee dyeing and stuff again I did the October don't know if I put anything else in not yet just the, uh, the October um, paper layout, you know, uh, overview from Daphne's diary. So I'll pop that in. And I've just this month gone through, um, I have been using the, the stickers, but I've just got my stamps out, the stamp the days, the day dates. 
again this is from i just love the colors that's from the paper pad this was from my stash of printables from uh, mrs cog's autumn days i think it's called um and i've used them several times actually uh again from the paper pad this little sticker here is just from my stash i just found it this morning i love it absolutely love it so i thought i'd pop that in there daffy's diary um yes this is from this year's diary the things to do and things to buy page this was a page that i hadn't used in one of my other um uh, my other older autumn day books and so i just uh, transferred it over love it did a little bit of washi and some stamping that went wrong but who cares uh, this is from, oh, what's my little book here? Uh, anyway, a book on trees, which I had many of. And then I basically used, um, this is a little um, end piece of one of these papers. Yeah, this is from the, from the paper pad, and I just like the way the colours reflect across. This was from a printable I picked out, and I got it from on uh, just on the internet or Google maybe last year, the year before, and I, I pulled it out. I hadn't used it, and I replaced it in here. I think that looks lovely. Again, a printable that I had from my stash from a couple of years ago. This was a page that I pulled out. This is from, this is a, some meadows in Canterbury. Uh, I can't remember now, anyway. Um, so I had this in another, in another, or in the Canterbury Meadows it's called, but I just loved it, this painting, I think you can see that. I was going to use it as a centre page, but then in the end I didn't, I looked, thought it looked quite nice just like that, so that's been reused from another, uh, an older journal. And this again, this is from, um, I can't remember what what's this one's from, to be honest, uh, one of my, um, Printables I've downloaded probably two or three years ago uh, from Etsy um, for the autumn. And um, I've did it quite small um, and I've just popped them in. This again is Daphne's Diary. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I've just pinned it, uh, sort of glued it, folded over the top of the page and glued it on. This centre page, uh, I just love the texture feature of that. And again, this is the from the forest from Stamperia. It's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It'd be lovely as a big um, a big size. This is the eight by eight, I think. Eight by eight. Yeah, eight by eight. But I had you know, I've had my eye on this paper pad for years, to be honest. For years. And they are a bit of an indulgence, um, Stamperia. Not as expensive as Graphic 45, but they're not cheap as chips. So it would be uh, nice to get it out of my system and actually own some for one of my journals, but have it um, just a little bit smaller, a little bit more affordable. So this is October. This again, this was from one of my older, um, uh, another autumn day book. Um, I love that. I love that image, and I love this of the geese over kind of a, a barren winterland. I like that, so I thought I'd pop that in just because. Just because. This again. This was from. I've used this in another uh, journal. I took it out because I just love it. I think it's from the journal where I um, I sewed. You know, um, I didn't sew the pages in. Um, I kind of you know did a little almost like an elastic and then you could put the pages in and take them out so that was able to come out but it's, it's just lovely just lovely this is from a book i had um have i not done anything with this i was going to but haven't that's from the paper pad and again this is from just um another uh, older page that i've rescued or reused I've reused it because I hadn't uh, written on it in, a, in another other journal. It's quite an old page, this one. This one I've moved along again. This was from Graphic 45. And I think I've used it in two or three journals. I've just moved it on again because I love it. 
um i'll probably journal it this time and then just call it a day and keep it in this one this was from this page was from lifted from um i think it's from this book it was lifted from this book i think i think it's this one or was it this one anyway it is from my friend uh, from a um what's his name oh happy mail and she stenciled that for me i think that was lovely Again, I wasn't quite sure about this page, you know, like underwater. I wasn't quite sure about it, the fish and that. But anyway, you know, I love the colours. And this I found just uh, this morning in my stash and I thought it was really lovely. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, celebrating Enid Blyton's um, Noddy. Little postage stamp. Uh, sticker. And this is something I'd moved across again from um, my friend Camille from um, Creating My Renaissance. She's uh, on Instagram and she sent me this years ago and I've moved, used it in a few journals actually, moved it across a little um, cellophane, not cellophane, what's this called? You know what it's called, envelope that she, she decorated. It's lovely. And that's basically the end of the that signature. And then, so for signature two, this is the um, paper that I used from the uh, paper pad. I love it. I've covered it in that. And because it's quite a little bit small, I just um, extended it a little bit on the back here. And this is, um, I love that. Silence speaks when words can't. And I just think, you know, when we look at creation, especially in the in the autumn, it's it speaks volumes. Such beauty, such beauty. Oh, I thought I would pop that on there. Um, so this again, this is from a Katie Daisy. That's twenty twenty two, November twenty twenty two. Because this is going to be my November page, my November uh, signature. But I might just cover that up. Or uh, I know it's not twenty twenty two, but you know, still haven't heard anything about my Katie Daisy book. I don't think it's coming. To be honest, it's supposed to be, well, October from Amazon. As I said, Smith's refunded my money. And last time I pre-ordered it, it, it came through as expected in August or July. It was no problem at all. So what's this one now? Where's that from? I can't remember where this one's from. Oh. But anyway, where's the other side of that? Is that the other side of it? the other side of that let's just check oh yes okay this is the november the daphne's diary uh, november overview um and that's the inside of it and it's got little little gnomes <laughs> and the mushrooms i love the colors and i thought the, the mushroom um sticker just sort of echoed that really i wanted to do more stamping this time round, but i couldn't find the stamps um i would have all sort out and i can't i don't know i've got a really nice um set stamp set for autumn and i couldn't find them so i didn't do as much stamping as i'd hoped this this time but you know and this is a really old sticker book that i had a botanical one and um I've just some of the ends of that with the kind of um coniferous coniferous trees um again katie daisy i just love just love the detail just love the detail so pretty, so pretty. And this was from a magazine, magazine, and I can't remember which one. I've had, I tore out, oh, I've had in my stash for absolutely ages, absolutely ages. And I thought, you know, I'll pop them in. This was the end papers for this book. And I just, I, I really liked it. I really liked it. So I popped it in and I popped uh, Daphne's diary on the back there. Again, it's a, a little, a little beauty from the um, uh, from the paper pad. Stickers, stickers. My uh, the tree book, the nature book, and that's another uh, just one of those stickers from my sticker book, botanical one that I've had for ages, and it's just coming to the end now. Katie Daisy, I think it's Katie Daisy page. Uh, this is a Daphne's diary, uh, Daphne's diary diary. This was from, um, I'd moved along from, I think it's from this one actually. I think it's from this one. 
it's autumn one and maybe i'll put it in here as well i think i might move, move it there anyway this has this is from the poetry book the english uh, poetry book uh go on keeps out to autumn that was that um yeah so that's the um that was the center page of this one which i absolutely love absolutely love it i love the the moody kind of green foresty green of the um yeah of the back there um found some um old journaling stickers um listening to and reading which i've popped throughout um because it's nice to journal about those and i've popped them at the beginning and the end of the month of both uh, months just so that we you know so i can really track what i'm look back and note what i've been listening to and reading and i then that is an old sticker of an old tape to tape reel i thought was quite interesting because you know with the listening and stuff this was a really nice um postcard that some friends sent us back in lockdown i think which i've i've kept but i wanted to to um add to my journal uh, this is from the vintage uh, vintage home book that I use loads of. This is actually a, um, a photograph that I took um, four years ago, just before COVID, I think. We went on a little autumn break as a family to a, a pool, I think, in Dorset. And this was a little park just down the way from where we were staying. And I was getting all artistic with myself and I decided to take this picture this photograph and I've just had it hanging about for ages and I thought you know what actually use it this time I was going to stick this in and I haven't yet and I probably will so I'll just probably stick that in there or down here like so or should I stick it up there not sure yet but I meant to glue that in this was um I got some of these uh lovely stampy things with um what's the word uh from a charity shop it was a big job lot of these um first edition these were sent out to to somebody I've covered up their address because it goes back to like 1968 1968 um but yeah i just thought i'd pop that in because they were in i had had them in this one i had had them in this one and i just moved them over uh again from uh one of my um etsy um printables i can't remember which one Daphne's Diary, uh, Stamperia Forest. This is the November, as you as you know, the November overview. That's quite nice actually to colour in. Yeah, it's quite nice to colour in. Anyway, um, again, the um, just a little journaling card from the uh, paper pad. Uh, this here I've had hanging about for ages, and I thought I oh, will just stick it in this time. Um, that's signature two and this was the front page uh well the inside page of the journal i made i think it's a blue and gold one four years ago autumn one um oh it's the, come on, it's thick, isn't it and this is a ladybird book i think it's a ladybird book about trees and this was some silk that i had from a big um book of um upholstery silks was it i think so and then as you can see i've made a bit of a mess with the glue but i decided to put some of the leaves in as well i've done an eyelet at the back an eyelet um a whole eyelet and rivet and then i managed to have a, a visit with my mum to the haberdashers and restocked my little um stash of um yeah, restash, uh, my little stash of elastics um because i love to mix the colors you can see that's a different a theme of uh a theme of mine over the last few years and i've even let me think so that's that i even have done it for um these ring bound planners that's from twinkle um like for home editors um like a teacher planner thing and this is a teacher planner that I, a lesson planner that I bought, cheap and cheerful one, and I decided to give it the vintage treatment. I covered the ring bits just in some leather because I just prefer that, to be honest. And this I've had in my stash for ages, and 
yeah I haven't made these they are really good as they are with QR codes and all sorts of things but I needed to give them a bit of a vintage feel and again just take took a, two or three of the elastics and match the um, match the uh, the colors or match the colors of the yeah oh that's come undone never mind a bit tight but there you go I'll redo that in a mo so that's us for that's done for October November and um I'll have something interesting I'll try and have something of interest for next month and I'll make a start on my uh, December winter journals um, so I hope you guys are well wherever you are and uh, look forward to seeing you if you haven't subscribed before and you like what you see you've enjoyed this please like and subscribe and uh, so you can join me on different projects and different things different chairs that we have I hope things are, are well wherever you are I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.